I'm Don Pettit. I'm a NASA astronaut and I'm on the International Space Station. We're currently about 240 nautical miles above the surface of Earth. I want to do some physics demonstrations that involve some of the things you might see in the Angry Birds game. And of course, I've got my Angry Bird here, but we need a pig. Well, I'm not very good at art. It's a good thing I decided to be a scientist and an engineer instead of an artist, because I'd, I'd probably be starving by now. Okay, here, here is Pig. And of course, Pig is the arch enemy of Angry Bird. And Angry Bird had some eggs. And Pig stole the eggs. And don't ask me how I got the eggs on Space Station. I've got a bungee spread across the hatchway. And this bungee is kind of like a slingshot. And I'm going to show the trajectory that Red Bird is going to have when I fire him with this orbital slingshot. Launching Red Bird into space. Well, hey, we're already at the space. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, all the way down. That's an example of a trajectory. It's a straight line from our perspective here. Gravity will attract an object if it's moving in a straight line, and it will no longer move in a straight line. It gets bent, and it goes in a curved trajectory. And guess what? Astronauts have to worry about these things, because if you're in a rocket, and say you're trying to get from one orbit and rendezvous a space station, you end up going in curved trajectories, and you need to know how to fire your rocket engines so that you can go from where you are to where you want to be. And if you understand the math, if you understand the physics, it will allow you to go out and get a neat job. A job sort of like mine. And we got to see all of this in a weightless environment, which is what the Angry Birds space game is going to be like with gravity fields from planetary bodies. 